Friday. Um, hope your day is going well. It's a quiet day for me. Uh, it's been a challenging week for me. Um, so today I thought that I would talk a little bit about um, being comfortable in the uncomfortable. I know that for many, for many, many lives right now, um, the uncomfortable seems to be the norm um, when we're shaken up a little bit. And we're just trying to make uh, better choices for ourselves and our families. Um, you know, I've learned, especially this week, it's been a trying week for me um, in different ways. But, you know, I've learned to get creative um, within my space um, with what comes at me. Um, some I have handled better than others, but, you know, we just move on. You know, but I know that these moments can transform our lives. You know, when we open our minds um, to whatever life throws at us. Um, again, it's about the choices and how we want to handle that. Um, you know, and regardless, regardless of the challenge, um, you know, if we get a little bit creative with it, uh, you know, life becomes a little bit more bearable. Um, you know, and the our creativity in the events of our lives, whether they're life shattering or not, you know, it's how we respond to the situation at hand. So, you know, something that we can ask ourselves is, are we resisting or are we embracing, you know, the moment? Uh, you know, life is unpredictable and how we respond to the events um, of our lives, you know, it's critical to our health and our well-being. Uh, because we can't be stressing 24-7. It's just not good for our health. Um, you know, are we honoring the moment? What are we learning from it? You know, a sense of honor is a com contributor to, you know, it's a positive and it's a forceful energy. And, and um, you know, it moves our biological and our spiritual system. Um, again, because stress, you know, it, it's an energy. Uh, sometimes it could be good or bad. Um, and, and, you know, our... Our biology, you know, dictates our, our, <clears throat> our biography dictates our biology. So, you know, we need to kind of see things, uh, stepping back always and seeing things in a different light. Um, and then that's a great moment. It's a great lesson for us because, you know, when we don't trust ourselves to believe that this is happening to us for a reason and, you know, we're always on the upset, um, you know, life can become untrustworthy and fragile and um, temporary. Um, and but we want, we, you know, we want to stand on solid ground. So we have to believe that this is happening for a reason. You know, wh what am I getting out of this? What am I learning? And once we understand this, once we begin to examine these moments, you know, um, when we resist what's happening, um, usually we, we have to, again, step back and examine what's going on inside of us and outside of us. Um, accepting it, you know, and, and not reacting to the changes that come into our lives is a healthier way to, to be, to be able to stand back and assess. Um, when we react, we don't give ourselves the space to think things through. So, you know, responding, looking at it in different ways, getting creative with it. You know, um, we're resilient and no matter what, we can promote um, a reality for ourselves that we probably didn't even know existed, that we were not even thinking about, that we didn't know what was in it for us, what, how, what we're built from, where do we come from, what, what are we made of that we can actually handle the situation at hand. When we're well uh, grounded, you know, and we're, when we're uh, deeply rooted, and knowing who we are, uh, and when we seek nourishment from that that is happening, you know, from the unseen, um, you know, we can we can quickly connect with our thoughts of survival, and we thrive. We push through. You know, there's a saying that says that um, the answer is always within. You know, we're always going to find the answer if we root ourselves, if we quiet ourselves down. You know, our comfortableness promotes growth. Again, what are we learning from that? You know, I compare it to a tree that is beginning to grow its roots. You know, it sends them down to the earth. It's seeking nourishment. 
you know, from everything around it. You know, we also seek nourishment in some form or another because we need that in our lives. If not, we, we die. We, we become alone and depressed. Um, so we also seek for nourishment in different ways. And maybe things happen in our lives so that we can seek that nourishment so that we become alive again. You know, there are ways that that life sometimes um, that gives us situations to to bring out the creativity in us. You know, we find we can find creative ways. We can find new attitudes in those situations around those obstacles in our lives. You know, trees will shatter rocks in order to continue its growth. You know, so what does that say about us? You know, we can push through. You know, we're survivors. We're women. We're strong. We're resilient. And when we say, okay, this is my situation right now, you know, we enter an, into a state of trust to whatever the situation is. And we can work with it if we respond to it. Um, we can express, learn to express a, a confidence in ourselves and, and in the universe. And, and we also express a willingness to learn, you know, from whatever comes our way. You know, rather than running and hiding and being upset and angry and asking myself, why me? Why not me? Thank you. Thank you for being me because I am growing. I'm learning, you know, so instead of running away and hiding um, from what we don't like um, and what we're seeing, the question that we should be asking ourselves is what will it take for me to what point do I need to get to say, OK, this is happening. Um, I can handle this and I can get creative with it. You know, that's a way of seeking nourishment. You know, so let, let's continue to find creative ways around the uncomfortable in our lives. You know, and, and as we continue to confront and to live out our journey that we call life and that we call living, you know, always move along the path that's going to seek, help you seek the light, help you seek that nourishment that we all need. You know, an attitude of gratitude goes a long, long way no matter what the situation. So today I ask that you put yourself in an attitude of gratitude, uh, whatever is happening in your life. Um, maybe we just need to step back and examine why this is happening and what is the lesson in it for me. Again, thanks for watching and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.